This is the end result. First, you need to download a few things. Yomitan, successor of Yomichan, is the plugin that allows you to translate the words. A bunch of dictionaries, you don't really need them that much, but they provide the data for the Yomi-chan to actually work. It's a simple drag and drop, just select the dictionaries you want. For the cards I'm using, I find this to be the best. Don't forget to install Gtender. AVS Player, the subtitle and display app, you may have seen this before. Anki, which you may already have installed, and if not, go do it. Also, we need the Anki Connect add-on to make the connection to Yomitan possible. You only need to copy and paste and it will be installed on a second. Also, download this guy's Anki deck. If you want to see why, check this short I made not too long ago. It's pretty good. And finally, you have to create the deck for the new cards. And with that, you're set. Now, let's configure things up. This is where people usually get things wrong, so... In this case, don't ask questions, just copy the settings. Pause the video if you need, you probably should. Configure Yomitan cards. You can change the information displayed on the cards by modifying the parameters in this form. But that's something you might want to try later. Configure ABS player cards. The same here, both sources will be used to create the cards, so you can play around. And there you go. Those are my settings. Now, how do we use it? Well, the best way is to download some anime without the subtitles, and then the Japanese matching subtitles for that anime. Which, for the sake of this video, I'm not really gonna enter in details. Now then, the important part, one that most people miss at first. Adding the word you want, you have to use that Jobitan plus symbol here, and then you get to use the shortcut to create the card for that word. Miji. Easy, right? This is how you speed up the sentence mining setup. Now, since you're still watching, why don't you follow? I'm kind of new to Japanese too, and well, I will keep posting things I find interesting, mainly related to Japanese learning, but also random shower thoughts and some pretty awful covers that will hopefully get better in the future. I hope this has been useful. See you later.